Hello everybody, my name's Andy. I'm Sarah. Uh, we're two of the keepers down in Foot Safari, Andy's team leader down here, and we're going to talk about our pack of bush dogs. So the bush dogs live down in the Foot Safari in the enclosure you can see just behind us. So our breed and pair, Lola and Simon. Lola arrived in 2016, Simon came close after, um, and then they had their first litter the summer just gone. So they're about six months old now, you'll probably see them bouncing about. And we've just had a second litter as well, um, which Andy will talk more about in a minute. But um, a bit about bush dogs, uh, they're the world's smallest pack animal, they're little carnivores, they're the only um, species left of their genus, so they're pretty important uh, conservation wise. They're very elusive, but we're lucky that they actually come out quite a lot down here because they've got a great enclosure. They've got the water you can see behind, they love swimming in, and um, they've got partially webbed feet, perfect for swimming. Uh, they're very good diggers and they're really good parents that we've seen. So when we decided we were going to get bush dogs here at Newsley, uh, this area was chosen for all the natural landscaping it's got. So it's already had some burrows, you've got the water behind us. Um, the bush dogs have actually got partially webbed feet, um, so they're really good swimmers, they're really good at digging. Um, and although they can dig, they don't actually dig their own dens to live in. Um, they'll live in tunnels that are sort of left by other animals like packers in um, the Amazon and stuff. Yes, yeah, social learning is really important for them as well. So like we said, they are the world's smallest pack animal. Um, and the young will actually learn off the adults. And as we see, we've got our breeding pair. Um, so they'll actually um, like chemically suppress hormone-wise, uh, the younger ones, so it's just them that can breed. But when it comes to the point where they no longer will, the older ones can step up and they know exactly what to do because they've seen their mum do it, they've seen their dad do it, uh, they've watched so many births. So our pups are actually in a really good place that if they were going to establish their own pack, they know exactly what to do, how to care for the young, how to wean them, how to help them start getting onto solid food and stuff. We've actually noticed our newest litter have um, started going at the meat a little bit more. So they're coming off Lola, who is uh, still huge at the minute and is obviously feeding five very fast growing puppies. But they have actually moved on to having little bits of mouse or little bits of rat when they can as well, which is really nice to see. When we notice Lola's pregnant, we look for her starting to swell around her abdomen. Uh, we look for behavioural changes. So uh, Simon, the dad, does a lot of digging around the enclosure. Um, and then we just wait for Lola's teats to start being a bit more exposed. And what we've learned from the first litter to this litter is we watch the CCTV um, a lot more closely, uh, watch for behavioural changes through the night, um, and then we just have to wait then for them to give birth. What we do find is they tend to give birth outside, and then we do catch them on the cameras, bringing the puppies into the house. Um, and take over quite a few hours. Um, so then once the puppies are in situ and born in the house, um, we watch the cameras re religiously every day, um, just monitoring, following if she moves them, um, then we also pick up any behaviours, any problems, um, and then about, it's been about four or five weeks old, we notice the puppies starting to emerge from the boxes um, and starting to interact with the older ones. You'll find our bush dogs on our foot safari, um, next to our Hammer Tiger Trail. As you might hear in the background, there is building work going on. A uh, good tip when you come to see our bush dogs is stay really quiet around the enclosure and make sure you come back on numerous occasions uh, because they do come out at various intervals throughout the day.